Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on Unit 4, the financial sector. We are focused on monetary policy. This is subunit 4.6. This is part 5 in the subunit. And in this video, guys, we're going to be talking about the impact of monetary policy on the real interest rate. Now, in part four, we talked about the impact of monetary policy on the nominal interest rate. And I have to say, that is oftentimes the more common question that we're going to get. What's the impact of monetary policy on the nominal interest rate? However, we very much do care about the real interest rate, so here we are. Let's talk about it in this particular video. We've got a couple ways of going about answering this question. One way is to go to the market we, all, we generally go to when we're talking about monetary policy. We get a monetary policy question and it's asking about interest rates. This is our general market we go to, it's the money market. Now, you see I've got the nominal interest rate, so I'm not going to get my answer straight from this, but I'm going to use this tool, so I'm going to use this and this formula to get the answer. So, let's take a look at it. Let's assume that we've got a recession going on. So we've got a recession, the Fed pushing reserves into the banking system, okay? They're trying to get more reserves in the banking system, trying to get more lending. That increase in lending they're trying to get is to increase the money supply. So the money supply shifts to the right, okay? So one, so zero, we've got an increase, increase in the money supply, and we see the nominal interest rate going down. And that is definitely our answer. When we do easy monetary policy, the nominal interest rate goes down. Now, again, I want to know what's happening to the real interest rate. Well, let's go to this formula right here. The nominal interest rate we know is going down. Now, the next question I have is the inflation premium. If we are increasing bank lending, if we're increasing the money supply in the economy, what's going to happen to the inflation premium, okay? If we're pushing money into the economy, I would like to say one of two things is going to happen. Either one, we're going to see more inflation. We generally associate monetary pol or expansionary monetary policy, easy monetary policy, increasing the money supply with inflation. And if we got more inflation, that inflation premium would go up. Now, if it was a really bad recession, we might not get any inflationary pressure. So we could argue the inflation premium would not change. But here's the big key, guys. When we do easy monetary policy, the inflation premium does not go down. Okay? It does not go down. It either goes up or stays the same. Well, if this goes down and this goes up or stays the same, what has to happen to the real interest rate? It has to go down. And there's our answer, guys. The real interest rate is going to go down. Now, let's talk about it a different way. I've got the loanable funds market. You see, guys, if we get questions about the real interest rate, it is often a place that we want to go is the loanable funds market because the vertical axis of the loanable funds market is the real interest rate. So we question about the real interest rate, we go, oh, I know the tool I have that has the real interest rate on it. It's my loanable funds market. So the other way we can think about this is what's going to happen in this market when the Fed does expansionary monetary policies. Now, I'm going to tell you kind of like the true economics way of explaining this first, and then I'm going to kind of put my two cents in on it. Here's the economics way of saying it. When the Fed does this stuff right here, they're going to increase spending in the economy, right? So they're going to increase the money supply, getting more loans, which is going to increase spending. When we get more spending, real GDP is going to increase. We can see that in an ASAD model, okay? The Fed is pushing the AD curve to the right, the total spending curve to the right. We see real GDP increasing. When real GDP increases, that means national incomes are increasing, right? Real GDP and national income, pretty much synonymous things. Okay, small difference, but they go together. When one goes up, the other goes up. One goes down, the other goes down. So, increase in real GDP, increase in national income. When national income goes up, what's going to happen to household savings? Household savings is going to increase. And so you'll see this supply of vulnerable funds shifting to the right because of more savings. And guys, when that supply of vulnerable funds shifts to the right, that real interest rate is going to go down. And again, you get the real interest rate going down. Now, for me, my little two cents on the whole thing, okay? Now, I'm going against the grain of, of, of many economists on this. I don't mind just thinking about it this way. The Fed does easy monetary policy. They're putting reserves into the banking system. Reserves are loanable funds, guys. Reserves are loanable funds. But what the Fed is doing is creating reserves and then getting them into the banking system primarily by buying bonds, U.S. Treasury bonds from banks, putting those reserves that they just created into the banks to get them to loan out more money. Guys, if they are increasing reserves in banks and reserves are loanable funds, shift the supply of loanable funds right. 
Now, I just want to say, some economists don't like that. Some economists, they, for, for many different reasons, don't like to think of the Fed changing the real interest rate that directly, okay? They say those aren't real loanable funds. But for me, in my money, I think it's perfectly fine to just think, hey, the Fed, if they are pushing reserves into the financial market, shift the supply of loanable funds right. If they're pulling reserves out of the financial market, guys, they are decreasing the supply of loanable funds, shift it left. Any of those ways that you want to think about it, fine. Here is the takeaway. Guys, when they do easy monetary policy, nominal interest rate goes down, real interest rate goes down. And guys, if they did tight monetary policy, nominal interest rate goes up, real interest rate goes up. Anyhow, hope that made sense to you. We'll see you in the next video.